my name is Trina Turasi. I'm the director of the National Center for Computational Sciences and the Oak Ridge Leadership Computing Facility. I'm standing in front of Frontier, the first exascale system dedicated to open science. So this is a system that's an HPE CREAX with AMD CPUs and GPUs. And here at the Oak Ridge Leadership Computing Facility, we are very excited to have this tremendous accomplishment celebrating uh, the Exascale Day. So Frontier debuted a year ago as the number one system, and it has been open for observations to our whole user community as of April 2023. So right now, we have active 1,700 users on the system, representing the full range of scientific domains, as you may imagine, actively using the system. Science has been going on very active for the past several months on Frontier. Some of the most important achievements is, first of all, we have all the ECP application teams running on Frontier, achieving and actually many of them fully exceeding their milestones by orders of magnitude. Uh, we also have supported, uh, I believe, three out of the Gordon Bell finalist teams, two of the teams on the main track and one on the special prize, again representing different domains. One application is from a University of Michigan team in terms of design and discovery of new materials. So another one is an Oak Ridge National Lab-led team and an ECP application um, where they did simulations to understand the insides of a nuclear reactor. And these kinds of efforts are extremely important when we want to accelerate the design and commercialization of this technology because we can avoid the, the need for costly and very time-consuming physical experiments. Uh, last but not least, we also have the application the, from a team that is led by Sandia National Lab. It is an ECP-related application, uh, running some of the largest global atmospheric model. And this is very important if we want to understand the historic insights of climate change and to make forecasts in the future. Some, let me add one more thing. Something that is often missed is that the facilities uh, are open to the broad scientific community. Scientists from academia, from other national labs, from other federal agencies, and from industry. And one of the major highlights we had in the past few months is a team from GE Aerospace, uh, the, one of the early users of Frontier. They used our system to design open uh, fans for a new type of jet engine that is far more energy efficient, reducing the carbon footprint CO2 emissions by 20%. So these are some of the very different but impactful successes both in science and engineering that Frontier has enabled just in a few months.